Hey golfers, Drew Mahold here at Second Swing Golf. We're at the 2020 PJ Merchandise Show. It's been fun, it's been hectic. I'm here with Josh Talge to talk about the T400 irons from Titleist. T400, another kind of game improvement edition for you guys. Um, what's new and what should people look for from the yeah, T400? Let's, let's talk about T400 for a minute. I think there's kind of a misnomer out there that Titleist is only for better players or Titleist is too hard to hit. And yes, we do over index on, on golfers who score low. Um, just given our heritage and, and the products we've built in the past, but we really do want to make sure that we've got clubs in our lineup that are going to help any golfer play their absolute best. Mm -hmm. And T400 is a perfect example of that. So T400 was really inspired by a couple of things. The first, we launched a TS1 driver this last year. It was an yeah. ultra lightweight product that was really for moderate to slower swing golfers, guys who aren't hitting drives 200 yards. Mm -hmm and that was all designed to help them get the ball up and out. We thought it would be kind of a niche product for yeah. us, but uh, hey, let's, let's try that. It ended up being almost 25% of our driver sales. We thought, all right, that's pretty interesting. There's a lot of these moderate swing speed players out there. Second thing, and I know that you guys have seen these before, we launched this uh, new utility lineup, our U series in the fall, and this big wide body U510. We started seeing all these golfers who had a little bit more speed, they were hitting two irons and one irons and just amazed sure. at how high they would go. And we thought, all right, yeah. what if we take this wide body approach and pair it with this golfer who we know needs a little bit of help yeah. and we developed this T400. So it is, it is our largest Titleist iron we've ever made. It's also our most forgiving Titleist okay. iron we've ever made. But man, does it launch and go. What's great about this is we took that wide sole approach that we had with the U510 but we put it in an iron shape, including the split sole design. So you can really interact with the turf the way you're supposed to with an iron. Second thing, we loaded it up with tungsten. Make this thing feel really responsive. A lot of these bigger irons, when they get big, they get kind of clunky, kind of sure. clanky, kind of yeah. ringy. And the player doesn't want that, right? You want to feel like you made a solid strike when you hit this. Now, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hide from this. These are strong lofted. Yeah. You're looking at 26 degree seven iron right here. Wow. This is a strong lofted seven iron. I know there's always that joke of, oh man, I used to have a five iron that was 26 degrees. If you say that, I would say, go get that five iron. Let's get on a launch monitor. Let's see your five iron versus this seven iron. Which one's gonna go higher? Which one's gonna go further? Which one's gonna get you closer to your target more often? And this baby's gonna win each and every time. It's gonna be a great extension to our lineup. Yeah, and one of the things that, you mean, you mentioned the strong lofts, you're able to do that because of all the weight that's dropped into that sole exactly. and kind of really increases that launch force. Yeah, if you can get that CG, the center of gravity, as far back and deep as possible, mm -hmm. and you've got the space here to do it because this wide body, think of that almost like a fairway would or a driver. You want to get that CG low and deep so you can get that launch up, and that's what this player needs. We've complemented with some ultra lightweight componentry. This happens to be a 45 gram shaft that we've wow. got in there. We also make steel available, and of course, from Second Swing, our full lineup of all the fitting options to make sure that we get you dialed in. Absolutely, and speaking of fitting, I kind of wanted to you know, get your thoughts on how it really fits into the lineup, right? Because this is, like you said, it's the largest option um, in the T-Series, specifically comparing it to T300. Yeah. Uh, what are the differences there, and what will players notice? I think what you're really gonna see from a difference of T300 and T400 is size. When we made T300, we were surprised that we got feedback from a lot of golfers, and they're like, it's not very big. And we realized that for a certain set of golfers, big equals forgiving. Mm -hmm. And well, we, because at, at Titleist, we've been, we've been making bladed irons for years, yeah. right? That's, uh, we like minimal top lines, yeah. not a lot of offset, thin sole approach. That's kind of our DNA. And so we thought we made something pretty big with T300 mm -hmm. and realized actually we can go bigger than that and offer a performance for this golfer who's really gonna excel. But from a, who would, you know, if someone's watching this video and you're thinking, my T300 or T400 yeah. guy, I would say the easiest way to think through that is, you know, kind of how far do you hit your driver today? Are you hitting your driver, you know, 200 yards plus, and really you've just got more issues with kind of control? Yeah. Let's try T300 first. Okay. If you don't have a lot of speed, you're struggling to get, you know, if you can't get a seven iron to go really, really high anymore, boy, that's where we would say, let's look at T400. Okay, sure, yeah, and one of the things too is, like, you know, you mentioned the size and everything, but even looking down at it, it's not like it's clunky either. So no. You, you, it's big enough where you can see the forgiveness, but yep. it doesn't like distract you from anything. So exactly. it's really pleasing to look at to an address. Well, that's one of our key tenants of Titleist is it's gotta look like a Titleist iron. It's gotta feel like a Titleist iron. 
we've got to put in the you know the work to make sure that it gives you that responsive feel that you're looking for. T400 irons available with the T series in 2020 should be great options for those moderate swing speed golfers. Get that ball up in the air, add some distance, and lower your score. So, Josh, thanks again for joining us. Awesome. Thank you.